Hi everyone, it's Rachel from Don't Crop Me Now. We've come down to the allotment on this uh, Sunday sort of lunchtime and we've found the inevitable really. We've got blight on our potatoes. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you what blight looks like. If you are a newbie to this, people are often talking a lot about is this blight, isn't this blight. Plants do start to die back and have brown patches. So I'm going to try and point out the differences for you. So if you are new to this and you're thinking, have I got blight, haven't I? Um, hopefully this help you identify the problem and how to deal with it. We have had some dry sunny weather but then we've had some humid weather as well which is what brings brings the blight over because blight is a fungus. So what we've got here are the these are all second early potatoes. So if I have a look at this one here where you can see stuff like this just like little brown speckles but they're not really surrounded by like a white ring or looking sort of fungusy really. If you look on the back of the leaves it just like little speckles that is the plant dying back naturally so these plants are really ready to harvest and when your leaves go like that that is just the leaves dying back that is not blight so you can see around there it looks quite whitish sort of silvery white so that is definitely blight so blight tends to be these bigger patches of brown that start on your leaves and they will then spread onto the stems and down into the tubers. So the first thing I do to try and combat uh, saving the potato crop is to cut the tops, the holes of the potatoes off. So if you look at your potato plant, then obviously you spuds are underneath here, but then you've got this, the, the main stalk that comes out. So what you do, so I'm just using a number of scissors here, but anything it's easy to cut them with. You want to chop them off so they're like an inch or so above. This will prevent any of the blight that is within the um, leaves of the plant travelling down the stems and then eventually getting new potatoes. So there we're left with the uh, potatoes in the bucket. So if your potatoes in the ground, you'd have little bits coming out of the ground like this. You can leave your potatoes like this for now. If you wanted to store the potatoes, then what we recommend is for you to leave them like this for at least two weeks. That's what hardens, hardens the skins off, which is the difference between the new potatoes and the old potatoes. If you take them if you want to crop them now, they'll be completely fine. But if you want them for storage, you do need to do that step. So I'm going to take these out because we're going to have these for our dinner. What we will do over the next couple of days is cut down the rest of our crop like this to this stage um, and leave them to harden off for storage.